Welcome to the Horton Aquarium. I'm excited to share with you the wonders of underwater life. We'll begin with those creatures which inhabit the warm waters of South America. One of the oldest is the piranha, more specifically the red-bellied piranha. What? They'll eat us alive! I am out of here! Stop! Red-bellied piranhas can't break through plate glass. You're perfectly safe. That's a relief. Why do movies show piranhas eating humans? I read that piranhas are carnivores. It's more of a myth begun by Teddy Roosevelt, but that's another story. They're mainly omnivores, which feed on plants, insects, crustaceans, and yes, other fish. Their teeth are like razor blades. They clamp down on their prey with the force of 72 pounds of pressure. Wow, so why do we hear about piranhas attacking while people are swimming? They're sound sensitive creatures. A coconut falling on the surface of the water, someone or something splashing, or blood in the water. Those are all signals for a feeding frenzy. However, a red-bellied piranha attack is usually the result of provocation or starvation. If the piranha is native to warm waters of South America, how come we find them in our lakes? Good question! Irresponsible pet owners purchase a red-bellied piranha for their home aquarium. When it outgrows the owner's interest or the aquarium, the piranha is put in local waters, where it sets up habitat keeping. This is interesting. Scary, but interesting. I agree. I can't wait to go to the library and learn more about red bellied piranhas and the gentle ones. I'm glad you feel that way. Let's move on.